Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team and today I have a, a couple of different things for you guys to watch as well as listen to. The first of which is a previously unheard recording taken by a couple of F-15 pilots back on January 12th, 2007 after the London Military Air Traffic Control contacted the two US Air Force jets out of RAF Lakenheath in Suffolk, UK to intercept this very strange unknown object that had been picked up on radar originally at between three and 4,000 feet altitude. The two F-15s went to investigate and actually got a solid radar lock on the unidentified object or target. And as you will hear in this video, not only do they visually confirm this strange black object that eventually climbed to between 17,000 and 18,000 feet high, they pass this thing multiple times, at least twice from what I can hear in this recording. They describe it as an object black in color, that it's not a bird, and that it was unlike anything they had ever seen. So give this a listen, and while this recording plays, I'm going to show you guys a couple of different actual videos that have been released over the years, taken from jets or other aircraft of other mysterious craft that have been captured by pilots all around the world. This is not actual footage from this recording, but it is indeed legit footage taken from other aircraft. So give this a listen, and we'll talk more in just a second. Hi, dude. No kidding. I just flew over on bullseye zero zero eight for twenty. I had a radar hit, and I uh, it was swinging. It looked like thirty knots. Uh, there was something there. It looked like a. Uh, it didn't look like a bird. It looked like no kidding a rock to me. I keep you negative. I have no idea what it was, but uh, basically just heads up. Try to stay away from seventeen thousand. Keep your nugget on the soul. I have no idea what it was. I'm going to use my radar to see if I can pick this object up again. I picked it up twice. The first time I picked it up, my radar broke lock, so I thought it was just uh, some kind of bad lock or potential chat. And I'm going to turn back towards the uh, north just a little bit. Fuel pickup trail. Back, I'm going to uh, start coming back towards the uh, west. This I think it was 004 for about 20. I've got it again. It's a 17.7. Three miles off my nose, it's 17, yeah, 17 7. I'm flying that way now. I'm gonna slow down. I'm not gonna get below 300 knots, but uh, back towards you, dude. I can't tell. Some small, very small black object. I had it at 17 7. He just flew right, it just flew right over me. From the object appears stationary. Well, I, I could tell because it was just visibly slow. I think it's really about 30. Or 80 knots. Yeah, my radar showed between 30 and 60, so I have no idea what it's actually doing. But it went from 17 the first time I saw it to 17.7, so it's not falling. I don't think it was a bird. Better lock it with auto gun. What's that? Are you taking a manual lock or is it an auto gun lock? Nah, I'm getting with auto guns every time. Put it at bullseye 009 for 15. Showing again, basically no airspeed on it. Tooth clean. Say again. Tooth clean. Tooth locked. Bullseye. Zero one two fifteen eighteen thousand. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm up slightly here. I want to try to look at it, and then you follow it behind me if you can. I got fifteen thousand. Dude, I have no idea what that is. But it just passed over me. I've got it uh, at 17,000 feet, 8 miles off my nose. Bullseye 049 for 20. 17,000, I'm going to get down to 16.5. It's uh, 2.5 miles off my nose right now. 17,000 feet. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to slow down as much as you are. Maybe you can slow down just a little bit more and get a better look. I'm maneuvering. Copy confirmed with merge with it. I am about to merge right now. I'm seeing him. Whatever hit me now. And I'm going to get my airspeed back before I maneuver. Are you locked or clean? I'm no joy approaching line of breast with you. 2,000 feet high, 18,000. 
cover that up in an easy right answer. You, you said you're at 18. Yeah, I climbed back up to 19.5 now. You're at 6 o'clock for about 3 miles. Yeah, we are. If we are well clear, I will descend at this time. Fox, are we clear to deposit? I, uh, I'm not sure. Again, it stays between 17 and 18, so... I believe I'm in the vicinity, but I'm not 100% uh, positive. One fly. I have visual now. I'm going to fly underneath you. Copy. I saw it that time. I could not make out what it was. You didn't see it? Hey, I don't want to circle back around. Well, hopefully we'll be able to see it through the HUD. I think that's somebody else out here with us. Yeah, I see him. Hey, did you see anything? Okay, so very, very intriguing audio and just yet another instance where pilots and more specifically fighter jets come into contact with these unknown objects, a lot of them small in size, like you would think of saucers or um, one-man craft. Many of these things will hover in midair or outrun these jets. Uh, as you saw in the footage that I've been playing, and as well as the uh, recent footage that was released by the DOD of at least three separate occasions, starting in the early 2000s, where these things have been intercepted, locked on by radar, but will actually outrun easily these jets before finally disappearing and never being seen again, leaving uh, the pilots of these aircraft in total disbelief and confusion, just as you guys heard in this recording from 2007. Now, another example, seldom seen piece of footage uh, of another um, actual video of one of these discs recorded from the cockpit of a jet, this time over Israel, and I'm willing to bet that most of you have never seen this footage. Now, I don't have any audio of it, but the footage was originally played as part of a TV show where they were talking about the footage uh, happened over Israel where at least two different flying discs were seen from a camera that appeared to be mounted inside of the actual cockpit and where in one single frame they were actually able to get a pretty clear shot of this extremely fast moving metallic looking disc. So yeah, uh, very, very interesting stuff. Bottom line here, guys, is that these things are being seen more and more, not just by regular civilians down on the ground, but by pilots, both commercial and private. The government knows that they're up there. They've been hiding the fact that these things are a, a much more bigger problem than they let on. Because when we get little recordings like this or pieces of footage every now and then, that is but a small tenth of a percent of the unreleased footage that never sees the light of day, most of which is secured behind lock and key, and I'm sure all of you can imagine uh, some of the more high-resolution footage where they've really gotten up close to these things to the point where you're able to make out some serious detail, and that is the type of footage, hopefully, that will be leaked or released somehow, someday, some way. So, with that, I will keep my eyes and ears open for more footage or recordings like this. Stay tuned to the channel in the meantime. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you back in just a bit.